Balloon Tutorial. Today, I decided to, to film uh, this uh, balloon decoration that I will be doing for a client. So as you noticed, I haven't done um, any balloon videos recently because um, we are quite busy and didn't have time to film. This arrangement emerged all over the social media so I tried. I've been doing this since June and wanted to share with you how I do it my way. So yeah, I call it a balloon marquee. So other uh, balloon decorators or balloon artists call it balloon bouquet. So, okay, so let's check out our supplies that we will be using for this balloon arrangement. Uh, color scheme that I will be doing today is soft pink, bright pink, white, and I am going to accent it with uh, the chrome balloon. So the chrome pink and then the gold. And then these are the uh, 7 inches of the Qualitex brand. That is the gold chrome, chrome gold, and then this one is a rose gold chrome. I will also be using the 5 inches ones. Yeah, and then I will also be going to accent it with few of these um, mini star balloons. And of course, my water weight, I am going to add a weight to the arrangement as well. These are actually the twisting balloons that I, I cut into half. I will be using this to tie all my um, tie all my five inches balloons. I will be using maybe glue dots. I pretty much love this balloon tape from Click Click. So this is so much easier to use for foil balloons. Yeah, and my hand pump and my electric pump. Okay, so I am inflating pink and white in 9 inches size and then tie it together. Make a duplet. And then I am inflating white and chrome gold since I'm going to accent the gold one. So I will mix it up with my quad. And then make it a quad. There. So I will be making um, three sets of this one, the nine inches inflated sizes. balloon tower video I use this yarn thread in uh, making the balloon tower this okay so for this time the same I'm going to use this to um, make my base I'm just going to attach my yarn to my first cluster now I'm going to add my six inches um, size and then so this one is kind of like making a tower I'm going to wrap it around 
to secure your cluster. There. And then what I usually do if I would like to emphasize a certain combination of colors, I would like to work on that side. So I would know when I keep on adding my cluster, I would know which color to uh, attach on the certain side. So now I'm going to add my second cluster. So now I have, it's actually when you're attaching all of it, it looks like a tower, but we are going to do an arrangement with like a horizontal type of arrangement. So yeah, I'm going to inflate my five inches with three pumps. sets of maybe about four inches of small balloons so what I am going to do is to add it to both end of the of uh, the base so it should look like this this is actually um, optional but for me I always love to add it uh, a small cluster of balloons at the end because tendency because we are adding foil balloons in here tendencies would be um, this one will move as we put pressure on the foil balloon so the uh, end clusters will move so at least these small balloons will kind of secure your end clusters okay so that is our base now I am now I'm going to add my weight sneak into the middle of this both of this cluster and then I am going to look for an extra neck of the balloons. Okay, so as you can see, we have a pretty much bigger space here to secure your weight. Like this. You can just actually insert it there and then that's it. But for me, I always like to attach, I mean tie it to an extra neck. So it will be at least secured. so this foil balloon has two tying necks so i usually use both of this to kind of secure it to your base okay so let me just quickly show you where i tied my twisting balloons so see as you can see i tied it to the where the yarn so you can just easily attach it there also to the other end and then what i'm going to do with my number three foil balloon is to kind of place it over here this so that will be our design but for now uh, what I after attaching both the foil balloons to the base after that I still want to um, finish the base first so because that way this the small uh, the small five inches balloons will help securing your foil balloon so that will be my next step first before attaching the number three onto the top of the foil balloon okay so for my five inches balloons i am going to um, inflate them in different sizes in one and two pumps so again i'm not going to uh, use any color pattern as long as i use the same colors with the base that i am um, uh, doing okay. 
Okay, so now I have inflated my 5 inches balloons. I will be attaching a twisting balloon to the cluster. Um, from my previous video, I used this method also in attaching small balloons to my um, arrangement. Okay, so now I'm going to attach this uh, cluster of small balloons to the base. So basically, just um, insert the twisting balloon to your base. And then... just arrange it where you want it to place like that and then so as you notice the small balloons kind of help to secure your foil balloons on top so I'm just going to attach few clusters at the back just um, temporarily stick my number three uh, foil balloon on top of this 18 inch one using a glue dot that way it will be easier for me to attach the balloon tape to the foil balloons Okay, so this is how I attached my balloon tape there if you can see so yeah this balloon tape is really a lifesaver for me on this type of arrangement because it has a really strong hold in uh, attaching foil balloons so yeah I would recommend using uh, balloon tape when you are doing uh, an arrangement like this so now I am going to inflate this um, small star and heart balloon. So maybe I will be putting some in here, like some of the spaces here on the other side too. Okay, so you might be wondering why I'm using glue dots because the balloon tape, the stretchy balloon tape will only work with a foil balloon so it won't attach technically onto the latex one so I use glue dots when working with the latex. Okay guys, so now that we are done with our balloon marquee or you call it balloon bouquet, I uh, usually put a bunch of uh, balloons like uh, helium inflated balloons to kind of accent the whole arrangement. So basically this is just the combination that I did today but of course, as always, you can use different other colors. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more balloon videos. Bye! See you guys in our next video!